All right, guys, we're going to do another video tonight. <clears throat> I want to showcase the new card, uh, Ponzi Scheme. So I built a deck here a few minutes ago. Did a couple games with it. It's not too bad. Uh, the two, uh, I played two, actually. The two I played and won both games with. Um, had some pretty massive turns. I think the biggest I saw was like just under 700 on one turn. And it was uh, because of Ponzi. So here's the the card I'm showcasing for this game. Uh, it is uh, so when you draw this card, your ca cards in hand gain plus fifty this turn, and then at the start of uh, the round, your cards in hand lose ten power until played. So obviously you want to try to play this as quick as possible, because if you hold it, you're going to start getting dinged ten power. So this card's very similar to car a card. Uh, called the door to hell which i've also added in this deck and this is how i was able to combo up to about 700 damage or power uh both these were in the same hand at the same time and triggered together but um <clears throat> so when this card's drawn it uh cards in hand burn 30 until played and gain 50 power as well so again this uh this means if both these trigger at the same time, that's 100 power on each of your cards tacked on. So pretty strong. Uh, so to support that, I've added cards like Hanging Gardens, which locks also giving everything in your hand plus 35. Um, we've added uh, this Emperor uh, Palago Palologus. Uh, and you, he says when played, your cards in hand gain plus 21 for nine turns. But if he's drawn after round three, your cards, wherever they are, lose 10 permanently. So uh, there is a downside to that one, so try to get that down early. Now, um, because I have a few cards that lock, I tossed in uh, Zhang Di Emperor, which also buffs everything plus 25 and locks your hand, which is now going to allow us to unlock uh, the cards that do get locked, like Hanging Gardens. Um... I've done the Charlemagne again in this deck, uh, so I've made sure to have three unruly rulers, so that uh, when he's drawn, everything in my uh, in my deck gets plus six permanently. Uh, another card I haven't really played much of, but I think it's pretty good, is uh, Charles Dickens, and he's more of a late game card, where if it's drawn at, if you draw it after round three, your cards in hand gain plus thirty five permanently. Um, and then we've got some more buffs such as Heimdall and Multiverse again, Archangel. All cards just uh, doing the buff. Martin Luther King, and then we've added just some. I'm going to play this in casual, so I've added uh, cards like Ghost and uh, Thunderstorms, Art Deco, all for the energy. Uh, Clouded Leopard, all for that energy gain, along with Hourglass Dolphin, really, just to get that plus eight energy on a given turn. Can really help for a big swing on some of these more expensive cards here that can get kind of trapped in your hand. <clears throat> so that's the deck in a nutshell. Let's uh, let's go play a game or two and see if we can uh, showcase this new uh, Ponzi scheme card here. Like I said, I've I've been pretty impressed with it so far. I don't think it's um, just hype. I think this this is actually a decent card here, uh, similar to Door to Hell, which, I mean, if anybody knows Door to Hell, that card sees a lot of play right now as it is. And it, um, I, th I feel like Ponzi Scheme's downside isn't as harsh as Door to Hell because most of the time when you draw it, you're going to want to play it immediately, and which wouldn't really cause much downside. All right, so we're starting off here, door to hell, right out the gate. Uh, <clears throat> it's already hitting us pretty hard here, so we're going to want to take full advantage of that and play three cards. So you can see, look at this turn one already doing 428 power. <laughs> I mean, this, uh, this deck can put some power down, I'm telling you. Might not be the greatest, but it... Uh, it can, it can do some work, that's for sure. All right, multiverse. Got Charlemagne triggering right there. 
So we got a good enough lead here. I think I'm just going to play Zhang D Emperor. Lock out the hand. See if he doesn't punish us too badly for that. Which he does not. So I'll take that. Give everything another buff. Unlock Hanging Gardens. So we can... I might just play that by itself on this next turn. Since we have such a big lead. And I want to get it back cycling. Might even play Charlemagne. Uh, or maybe I'll just dump Hourglass here. You know, let's, let's get rid of Hanging Gardens. And let's get Charlemagne back in rotation here. So that may, it means he'd have to have a 400 plus swing. I doubt he's got that, so let's do that. Should be safe. Right, so we take round one fairly easily on the back of door to hell. See if we can get that Ponzi scheme online. I want to let you guys check this card out. It's gonna be, of course, it's gonna be the last card we draw. You know how that goes. <laughs> this deck's just putting down some pretty insane power. Right out the gate here. Alright, there's our green witch. Let's get him down. He's dinging us, making everything a little more expensive on us here. I'm just going to do it like this for this turn. So we can get that Heimdall trigger. I feel like Ponzi should be coming up here any second, maybe on this on this draw here. Which if it is, I uh, I expect we win the round. There it is. Go ahead and buff everything. Planet X. Not strong enough. Ponzi doing work here. Alright, we get our Martin Luther King trigger. I like that. <clears throat> so as you can see, that Ponzi, I mean, it really pushed us over the edge there. Along with the Heimdall trigger we saw. Let's get Charles Dickens down, so possibly draw draw it later. All right, he stole some of our uh, energy on that turn. Wasn't the greatest turn to do it for us because we had door to hell trigger so that uh, screwed us over a little bit we're still able to play two cards though so you can see how strong door to hell is taking taking the lead with it Should prove why Ponzi is so strong, right? You guys see the, the power of Door to Hell, and Ponzi's very similar. Mm, is that going to be it? Yeah. Let's see if that's going to be enough. 268, it's going to be close. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we got it. So, there we go. We take game one. Back-to-back -back rounds. So it was pretty quick. I'll go ahead and play one more game for you guys. See Ponzi a little longer in action. All right, let's jump into another one. Card is good, guys. I'm telling you, card is pretty strong. I mean, we didn't see no 700... Point or power turn, but if you get if I can get that door to hell and Ponzi at the same time, 
it will be nut, pretty nutty. All right, we got hanging gardens right out the gate. Got the green witch. like that because yeah, I don't think my ghost is going to win or I think it will win so we would only get plus one so let's see if we can have a better turn for it maybe now's the time we just play it by itself here we got a good lead so if he takes this one I'm okay with that Perfect. So we get our trigger. Plus two energy. That's what we wanted. It sucks he got a MLK trigger, though. All right, we want to get our Heimdall down this time. Let's do it like this. See if we can finish this round. He's going to need at least 300. Looks like he was just short, so we should have this one. <laughs> All right, Heimdall triggers. Moving on to round two, we're going to get that King Arthur down, turn one, so we take advantage of it. Got our Charlemagne triggering. Let's get uh, Dickens down so we can get it cycled back through for a later round. Well, that's a good turn on him there. Here we go. He's putting up a fight. There's our Ponzi. Let's see. How do we want to do this? Six. Yeah, let's do it like this. Sucks we didn't have a little more energy there. Get a third card down. Just a turn late, Hourglass. Just a turn late. All right, I think he's got us this round, so let's play... Uh, let's try to get somebody cycling back through the deck. Good round for him. To get our energy built up a little higher. We start playing these three card turns consistently. There's that door to hell trigger. Good power that turn. This looks like a good time for Green Witch. Get that plus 96. Right, let's get the Archangel down. Another 400 power turn here. I think we got this round in the bag. Looks like his uh, stronger cards are going to be on the back end there. And it'll probably be... What did he get that in? T turn 2 or round 2? So yeah, probably be a little later in the towards the end of the game if he gets it. Heimdall trigger again. Zhang Di is going to unlock our hanging gardens for us. Oh, I lied. Never mind. 
some reason I was thinking I was overlocking, but I wasn't. Let's do it like this. I think he's going to be putting up a fight this round. Let's see if we can uh, finish this off this round. I don't want to go to round five. Ponzi coming down. Starting to get that power going. This is 300. What's MLK do? 325. That's a little higher. Let's do that. Ooh, that Roman deck's pretty strong, isn't it? It's putting down some decent power. Might have to do a video on Roman deck here soon. Start getting some of those cards. That looks like a fun little deck. All right. Oh, is he going to steal this round on us? He very well could. Oh, well, we're fairly close. He's going to have to overcome that 70. Ooh, it's going to be real close. Oh, we still get it. Well, all right, guys. That's the uh, deck in a nutshell. I just, like I said, I wanted to showcase that new card for you guys. So you can see it in action. Um, my initial thoughts are, again, it's, it seems fairly decent. I mean, I guess we'll see as the meta shakes out with it, but... So far, I've been impressed with it. Uh, I think uh, I think you guys should definitely look to get you, uh, you know, a, a copy of it if you can. So, all right, guys, if you uh, like the content, feel free to uh, subscribe for me, and help my channel out, and I will keep putting content out. Um, shoot me a like, comment, and uh, if you guys got any deck ideas or think I couldn't do anything a little bit differently or you know ways I can improve, just just let me know. Thanks for watching.